I was there in Delhi at that time, uh, working on a documentary, and I was involved in those protests, and like every other Indian, I was horrified by what I saw. So at those protests, I spoke to a Delhi police officer and asked him about what he thought about what he saw. On the, He said, no good girl walks home alone at night. So at that particular moment, I knew, I knew that the problem of gender violence and rape in particular was not a legal problem, but a cultural problem. That in order to reach especially young people, that the documentary format was the wrong way to do it. Like no teenager would watch a documentary about gender violence or rape. But they would definitely read a comic book that has interactive elements to it, that has a female superhero, and is about India, and, and is very reflective of who they are. Yeah, I want a lot of them told me that they were facing the stigma surrounding rape, that they were being discouraged by their family, their friends, and even the police officers from seeking justice, and, and they wanted to. to look at all the elements of the comic book, they all come from constructs that exist in India, and more importantly, exist in uh, almost what, which everyone, every Indian knows. So we were using the constructs and reimagining them. And I wanted to figure out a way in which you can scan the artwork and get deeper into the stories. We were implementing AR, you know, not only in New York City, but in the slums of Mumbai. These are really difficult topics to talk about. There's something about Priya and, and the story she's trying to tell and the use of comics that really resonated with audiences.